Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. In this lesson, we're getting started with lab number six, Settings and Preferences. Uh, in the first exercise, if we scroll down, you can see that we're going to add an About page. Seems innocuous enough, right? But this is actually just the first step in adding some preference settings uh, that the user will be able to modify. And this will allow us to integrate with the Windows 8 settings charm in the next two lessons uh, to add a preferences page and then implement the preference. We'll also see how these settings preferences can be maintained across multiple user sessions on different machines, which is really cool. All right, so to um, kind of just demo what we're talking about here, let's go out and open up the weather app. And I don't know if you've worked with Windows 8 much yet, but uh, there's the settings charm. When you click the settings charm, you see the settings. Now you may have used this to power off your machine and ignored the rest, uh, but there's actually ways that we can implement options here, like an about page, for example. Now for the weather app, when we click the about page, we can see you know the version, the corporation that created it, and other information about uh, organizations that contribute data to it. Uh, but there are other ways to set um, uh, options. For example, we can turn on and off search history, we can clear out weather searches, and so on. Very neat. So we want to implement something like this for the Contoso Cookbook app. And so again, to begin, we're going to work on exercise number one to add an about, uh, add an about command and um, to implement a settings contract, our app will need to respond whenever the user clicks the settings charm in the Windows 8 charm bar on the right. And to do that, we're going to need to add an event handler inside the default.js file for the on settings event, which is fired whenever settings are modified in the app. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what we need to start off by doing here. We're going to open up uh, the default.js and let's copy out this code which we are going to add before the if app session state dot history statement so let's find that so i think they want us to put it right here and so let's go ahead and paste that in and so whenever the uh whenever the user clicks the settings charm now our uh, default.js will fire off and it will first of all we'll need to tell it what application commands are available just like we saw that long list along the right hand side for now we're just going to implement the about application command and then tell it where to go if somebody actually clicks that about command we'll implement that a little bit later um, so let's just go ahead and run the app now and just see that show up uh, and so here we go over and click settings and now we can see about if we were to actually click this we're going to get an error okay so let's go ahead and just break there and stop and that's where we need to pick up okay so uh, now that we finished that let's go on to task number two we're going to add an about.html page control so let's put it where all good page controls belong in our app. In the pages folder, we're gonna right click and select add new item, or actually let's cancel that. I think we're supposed to add a folder first, right? Add a new folder, and we're gonna call this about. All right, so now let's right click that new folder and select add new item, and this time we wanna select page control. We're gonna change the name of this from page control.html to about dot html and click add and so now we get about dot css html and js awesome let's open up our about dot html i think that's where we're going to wind up next let's look at our instructions here uh, we want to replace the development whose class is about fragment with this one okay so we're going to replace the development this about fragment let's go ahead and just replace i guess the whole body then essentially great Notice what we get here. Uh, we are going to create a control of type settings flyout, another one of the UI uh, controls that are available from WinJS. We'll call a show function on the settings flyout control by clicking a button. And it looks like we have some settings content here as well, which we'll be flushing out in future exercises and labs. Awesome. All right, so let's save all that and let's move on we want to style this up so let's go to the about.css and paste in settings pane settings title settings content just basically looking like we're setting margins and things of that 
of that nature and maybe even the background color. All right, so let's get to our about.css and let's go to the very bottom here and uh, yeah, let's, let's go above the media tags right there. That should be good. All right, next up, looks like we're gonna test the results. So let's go ahead and run it. And we'll go to settings. And now when we click the about, we get a gray uh, about page. You can see that we have the name of the app and a uh, trial version. All right, so I think that's pretty much it. We've taken the first steps. We can see the about page, great. Uh, good first step. However, we want to add a second menu option in the settings page that will allow the user to change the preferences for our app. And we'll start that uh, in exercise two in the next lesson. See you there. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.